I'm up. Hey, hey, Jello Toast here, back with more I, the Somnian Files. Um, yeah, I'm doing a stream today. I would normally do it tomorrow on Wednesday, but I'm going to my family's for Thanksgiving. So I won't be able to stream the rest of the week. So I'm doing it today. Also, I really want to figure out the mystery of, um, of Shitomi and Benju and Manaka and everything. So, uh, let's do this. Wow, there's a really big lag between my stream and what's on- what's being streamed on. Like, freaking two, three seconds. If I don't see your chats early, I am sorry, they will be delayed responses. I really wish there was a way to fix that, like, I want the lowest latency possible, and I have my stream set to low latency, but it always seems like there's three second delays, but for other streamers, I look at them and they're like, they don't seem to have any real big delay. I'm jealous. But anyway, let's get going. Benju, 19 years old. Um, let's see. About Monica's killer. Did you get the birth certificate? What should we name her? About Monica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but there's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So son. So son, Saito Sejima. So my hypothesis, my theory is that So's wife died after giving birth to Saito. And then I guess Saito saw his dad getting close with Monica, and he's just like, No, don't take the place of my mom, especially since you're only like six years older than me. Freaking creep. Ew, so like the person who was almost his son's age. That's disgusting. So yeah, Saito probably killed her, and then the Kumakura gang and Rohan was sent to cover up her body, and then Rohan took her eye, and starting from then, he's like, Oh, I love taking eyes. Then he became Cyclops Killer with number 89, Falco. How? Saito was only... 12 years old. I mean, 12 years old could be killers. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know Maybe it's that's true. why um, So doesn't really like his son. He's just like, get away from me, I don't know you. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. This is a flashback. I'm not actually in Hitomi's song name anymore, right? I, don't I feel think I the am. same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? Um, did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Who are you going to get to nurse the baby? Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. Is that why Iris is sick and has a brain tumor? Because um, she didn't get breast milk from her mother, so she didn't get a lot of like antibodies and whatnot? I don't think that would cause a brain tumor, though. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. But she is dead now. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. War? A war? Between you and the baby. Oh. <laughs> you won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? I never will. She's my best friend. Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? Of course, the man's just like, I'll help out whenever I feel like it. Shh. What should we name her? I was thinking about her name. 
How about Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. And the colored part of your eye. And the flower, too. Right. Why would you name her after the colored part of your eye? I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that. It's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And what does that have to do with Iris? And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. Oh, cool. So both names have something to do with the eye. Also, Monica's eye was poked out. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah, I really like it. And so my life with Iris began. Oh yeah, he told me he is talking to us. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Ta da Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers. Oh, my eyes are so dry. No. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all of that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. Of course it wouldn't. He killed your best friends. But my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. But you still hate them. It's not like you want to go actively after them. What the heck? Is mommy proud of me? Proud? Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again. Mommy, you are so good at dancing. I love Sailor Moon. Mommy, pancakes are done. Sorry, I burned it a little. Damn, a little kid making pancakes already? Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I don't like cooking. I can't help it. My body dances on its own. Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? No. How come it's always you and The me? less people, the more food for you. Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? There are no hands on that clock. That's creepy. I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? No, it's ugly. Oh, we're matching! Gross. <laughs> Just kidding. Mommy, look! I drew it's it! It's your boyfriend, who's also a murderer! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Not the food fight. The cleanup must be so annoying. Um, both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! But you'll never hey, see him again! Yes? Are you gonna marry him? She wishes. What? What are you talking about? But he's in jail. As long as it's uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? What lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her. But... I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was Avenge exaggerating. her by raising her daughter to live. But there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. There isn't? That's crazy. If we showed Monica's body to the police, Sol would be punished by the law. 
and the Sejimas and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But then Denju's association with them would also be uncovered. But that would mean Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris, but... I mean, you're all she knows. It's not like she's gonna find a different mom. Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. Is that why he told me started meeting with Sol? Because she's like, Iris is gonna die anyway. In January. Iris suddenly collapsed. Different mom, different mom, different mom. Hey, Regal, how you doing? Thanks for joining. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. I do remember. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. Experimental new treatment? It was. The sink machine? Some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. Oh. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. She wasn't lying. I was like, what the heck are you talking about, Willis? Nano machines. Nano machines. <laughs> nano machines could remove the tumor. Because of nano machines, I can't get drunk. It's from Metal Gear Solid. But the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it. About how I could get my hands on that kind of money. But I couldn't think of a solution. Except blackmailing so. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. November? Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. Oh, wait, she wasn't in the hospital that entire time. They're just keeping it on the shot to show to she's panic. sick. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. Oh, geez, I have a lot of grinding to do in Minecraft. Ugh, grinding does not sound fun. I have a lot of grinding to do in Pokemon and Fire Emblem Heroes. I still have to beat the Golden Deer route. Oh, gosh. It's just Pokemon is sucking up all my time now. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. What are you grinding for? Materials? Is there a certain material you need to get to build something you want? Oh, Neil! Hey! Thanks for the rainbow unicorn! Fits! Two days ago, on Saturday Hey, hey, night, hey! How you doing? I Thanks for joining! To come to the warehouse. How's everyone's Tuesday going? So, at my workplace, everyone just had a pretty crappy Tuesday. It's just things are not working out well. And we're all like, I wanna go home! <laughs> Playing on a modded server? I mean, even on a modded server, you wanna get materials to build the thing you want. It was real slow today. I think we're just all super excited for tomorrow to happen. Because then it's like, Thanksgiving break! Let's go! He agreed to come, after I hinted at what happened 18 years ago. Yeah, I think a lot of people at work are gonna do half days tomorrow. I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until so came. I wanna do a half day. When he finally arrived... He walked over to the workbench. Oh, yeah, and then this is when we found Iris's body. I like my job so I could give or take having Thanksgiving off. Um, I mean, I like my job too, but there are some days when I'm just like, I want a break so that I can just sleep and rest and relax and just recharge my energy. Where I had laid Monica's body. Oh, excuse me. He lifted the cloth and looked down. Yes, sir. Whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. 
a woman his own son killed. Gross old man. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know what you did. I know who did it, and I know she had a baby inside her. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. Ten million dollars! And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saisho, not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? But how are you going to show proof of the murder quiet. 18 years ago? You only have the body here, but you can't show who did it. Why are you streaming today? Because I'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow. Because I'm traveling. Also, hey Maka, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Even if he found out who I was, without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career. Not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. Did Iris visit you in your dream? Um... No, she didn't. I just passed out <laughs> after streaming. Also, KB, how you doing? Thanks for joining. But I was thinking about this game before I went to sleep last night. I was just like, what? What could the connections be? How is it going to come out that Date is Saito? What happened to Date six years ago that he lost his memory? Like, ah. But then something unexpected happened. You came in. Iris. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around... Uh, it can't be! How did Hitomi lift this corpse by herself? It must have been super heavy. Iris. I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. I couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Instead, Iba did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Shoot, that means Iris is my half sister? Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what? Regal, what, what? In her death position, Iris looks kind of like Lucy from Elfin Lead. I never watched Elfin Lead. I only ever saw um, screenshots and pictures of it, but I never watched it. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion. She's a sister. Mm-hmm. Half sister. This is why we can't date. It's even more creepy. Just as much as her biological mother would have. If not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. So did he tell me get However, the money? That treatment is because she did meet expensive. with Soul in his home. What were they talking about? Devised a plan to blackmail so this game officially money. sucks. <laughs> Just because of that reason? <laughs> You're silly. The best way to establish the blackmail. I mean, boss is still available. Directly. He told me he's still available. <laughs> I don't think she'd That's like Data very much since he killed Monica. <laughs> she was the one who called So to the warehouse. Oh, maybe I project. 
Is Data really Saito? Or does he just look like Saito and that's why Sol was like, Hey, your father's gonna kill you! On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Yes, ask her questions! Date, snap out of it! I heard Aiba call for me and came too. Hitomi! Why did Rohan remove Monica's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Damn it! Did you tell Renju about blackmailing Sol? No, I did not. Why did you not? All of this was my idea. Continuing Sunday's events. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? Put Monica's body back. I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then, I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. Those that still doesn't explain how in Iris's route, when we went into the experiment, the prototype sink machine, Iris had both eyes. And then when we came out of it, she was missing one of her eyes and she was dying, even though she was perfectly healthy and fine when we went into the sink. Weren't we fine? She definitely had both eyes. So that means in the time we were sinking, someone came and took out her eye? Well, who could it be? I don't know. But this entire time, Dr. is the crazy one and not Iris, since Iris has been dead over 10 years. Um, no. Iris is a real person. She's been alive for 18 years. It's, um, that was her, the frozen body was her mom. Her mom died 18 years ago. So is this game making any sense or what? It's not really making sense. <laughs> Simple. Summarize for me. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. There's still ago. a lot of loose ends. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. And how come in one of the past, Renju was killed as well? But he's alive now. We can think about it later. Mm. More importantly... I headed for the exit. Are they gonna Wait. let me go? Ooh, Tommy told me to. Missed the last read, missed a lot. Oh, you could watch my um VOD either on Twitch or YouTube. I put them up. So is that is that, so is Iris' dad. Yep. That is my hypothesis. Where are you going? Uh to look for Iris, of course. Yeah. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. What do you know? How do you know where Iris is? At around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. Tell me, is Iris' adopted mother after she was killed by Sol's son? Currently unknown to who that is, but we assume it's that day. <laughs> just here and there, I doesn't interest me, just here to chill. <laughs> this is this is a nice thing to chill too, because it's visual novel, nothing too fast paced. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. Yeah, why would Renju say it? They're friends. They know who Iris is. Number 89. It won't be 89. Either way. He freaking dated right me. Now. Listen to the rest of the story. 
The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. Ooh, with me? With me? But I am police. Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Oh. Or number 89. What location? Or so. <gasps> or maybe this is the exchange that she made with so. I'm sorry, but this stops now. Boss? What? Date. Run. Pewter, did you shoot her? <gasps> Boss! Pewter, what the F is wrong with you? Please do not worry. I was. Oh, before this whole cutscene happened, I was thinking this maybe she met with Soul, and Soul was like, okay, I'll listen to your request if you do one thing. Bring me Data so I could kill him or something. Or, I don't know. That was my theory. But now, Pewter's being crazy. Again! Why did we decide to trust him when he betrayed us with Iris earlier? Like, gosh, freaking dang it! Policia. <laughs> Told you, Pewter was the main culprit. Look how crazy he looked. He does look crazy. I hate I him. I nearly put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders. From? They told us to halt our investigation. Who's they? The boss was already going against orders as it is. Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. What? Monica? But her case is all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If oh, Pewter, I want to smash your glasses in, man. So Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know. Then who the hell are you working for? But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation. As of five minutes ago. Oh my gosh, just kick his face, Data. What are you in doing? Fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. <sighs> Data, you also have a gun. Shoot him. What will you do, Date? Shoot Pewter! I suggest you comply. Shoot him! Iva, can you turn the power on? Easily. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. <gasps> Good job. I hope you broke his hands. Even better, broke his face. Why would you have... Did you just stick the gun in the locker with him? Now tell me. Where is the location? I can't tell you. What the F? You said you had to take me somewhere. You... Ah! Oh, why would you ever think the scientist would betray you? Because he has crazy eyes. Aquarius have good judgment. Heck yeah, Aquarius! Woo! Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you... Alright, take me there. I think she's acting to be like, let me see you die! In front of me! But who the heck was Pewter working for that he's like, they told me to stop, blah, 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 blah. Freaking Pewter. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I knew that. How did I know that? The corners of my mind were aching. Date. I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. Uh-oh. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years. Why? Including backups. Pewter. Friggin' Pewter, how did he get is out? Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. Summon some ice, but that will only uh -huh. buy time. Ice. I have four hours at the most. After my ice is broken, Peter will be able to access Wadget, my core programming. He would be 
Why? Why is Iba's voice so soft? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. Like, Data's voice is normal. He told me his voice is normal. I was like, hey, I'm gonna be a little muted. They are attempting to limit your power by removing you from the equation. I suppose their motivation hardly matters now. The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to Abyss within four hours. Or else, I will cease to exist. He is being erased. Yup. Date, what's wrong? Nothing. Just hold up. Let me go to those options. Cause why was Iba's voice so freaking soft? Voice volume. Let's raise it to. Allow me to assist you. Allow me to assist you. Allow me to, to assist nine. you. Nine. Let's lower BG a little to five. Okay. Good. All right. Now you know. No, her voice is still pretty soft, so damn it. I'm counting on you, Date. Four hours. It's fine. That should be plenty of time. It won't be! Ha ha ha! I gripped my revolver and got moving. I'll go in first. You wait here. We know okay. this place because this was one of the this is one of Iris Somnium. Where she showed us the ways that the original Cyclops killer ladies died. Here's the prototype it's sink that. machine again. Renju? Ah! Eight Falco, damn it! You killed Renju! Oh my gosh. The case remains unsolved? What? What the F was that? Scream scared the hell out of me. Well, a dead body scared the hell out of me. I'm so sorry my scream scared you. Love is over. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Playing Chrono Trigger? <gasps> Where are you up to in Chrono Trigger? Ah! It's locked? Why is it locked? Okay, so green route is unlocked now. Okay. Reopen investigation. Yes. New game plus? Woo woo! Okay, let's go. Let's go. Green route is unlocked. Boss was betraying me. Guys. So has his eye plucked out. So Sejima. Boss is gonna shoot him. <laughs> Boss Why? shot him. Why? I made Chrono guilty on everything. Why would you do that? Boss? I think everyone screws up What's on the, on um, everyone screws up with the lunch. Why did boss kill so? Even if they help the girl with the cat and they help, uh, Marl up first. We all eat the lunch by accident. Oh man, I want to get the boss trophy, examine boss's room trophy, but boss's alibi for Shoko's murder. Shoko was killed around 5 p.m. Doing Friday. stuff I've never done before, I guess. Ah, uh, that makes sense. What was Boss doing at that time? You know what really freaks me out in Chrono Trigger? The clown's tent. Where you get the clone? Oh, that part always freaks me out. 
Where it's like, hey, you gotta copy what the clone does! Oh, so stressful. Unknown. Boss's alibi for Denju's murder. So in this route, what about Saturday, Shoko and Denju are dead. Yes. There's his dead body again. The time Renju was killed? Similarly unknown. Boss's alibi for Iris and Ota's murder. Iris and Ota were killed at different times. But right in the same place. I was watching the stream on the call with Boss. Only the first few minutes. The polar bear had not yet appeared on stream. It is possible that she made the call from somewhere off camera. Where was Boss's phone at the time? Check her cell records. She did not call from a mobile phone. She used a PC. Using a VPN service, she could have accessed her Abyss PC from the warehouse and made the call. The little girl with her last cat said, I ignore when I never interact with her. Exactly. It's like, I'm sorry I didn't know about you, cat girl. Like, damn. Yeah, so I think unless you're using a guide, there's no way you can be absolutely innocent in the trial on your very first playthrough. I don't believe it, boss. Boss is the new <clears throat> Cyclops killer? Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, So. Boss killed them all? The evidence makes that a likely possibility. So also had his left eye removed. Identical to like Shoko, Renju, and Iris. Ota's the only person who didn't have his eye taken out. Why is that? I wish there was a quick recap Doctor, thing this game gave you. I know where the you. boss is. I have picked up her GPS. Where? She is now... Behind you! At the Sagan residence. Oh, uh, shoot! Somewhere inside Hitomi's house. She gonna kill Hitomi. What? Dun, 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 dun. What is her goal for, do for this, though? No idea. I don't know why Boss is involved. In all other routes, Boss was trying to help us. But in this one, don't know why she went evil. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I drew my gun from his holster and barged into the house. Actually, I'm gonna raise uh, sound the music again. It's a little too low. I like it at six. Okay. Hey, Wilson, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Hello, hello. How are you? I am super full. I actually ate dinner before I streamed tonight, and now my stomach's just like. <laughs> But it was good though. How you doing? Killing people and removing their eyes. Cult obsession. No idea. Hang on, I gotta pee. Don't do anything. <laughs> okay, then I'll check my uh, case file. For any new- Ooh, persons updated. Monica got added. Monica, 19, deceased. Uh, profession was a student. Likes, he told me to do her daughter. This likes killing! Hobby, studying international politics, skills, ballroom dancing, overview, Iris's real mother. After graduating from high school, she started seeing Sol Sejima and became pregnant with Iris. Just after giving birth, she went to meet Sol in the warehouse district and was never seen again. Oh, messed up. I wonder if Sol's got updated. No, it didn't get updated. He's 60, so 60 minus 18. He was 42 when he was meeting Monica. Or is it 19? He was 40... Wait, what the hell am I saying? He was 41? When he was made of- Ew, that's so gross. Mom! Okay, I'm back! I'm hungry and tired, but otherwise pretty good. Planning on staying up late again tonight. <laughs> you should try to sleep early, dude! Ugh, this music. I know, so intense. Get your blood going! Metal Gear! McWord! Did I beat this? I drew my gun from his holster and barged into the house. Hitomi! Hitomi! Snake? Snake? Snake! I called for her, but there was no reply. I didn't see Boss either. Iva, call Boss's phone. On it. <gasps> oh no! 
Uh, there it is. There it is. Uh, uh, kitchen counter. Kitchen counter. Come on. There we go. Phone. Banana phone. The boss's phone. Oh shit. Okay. Kaname Date, you were under arrest for murder. We didn't kill what anyone. The hell? Drop your weapon. Comply. Oh my gosh, boss. Oh my god. Boss. Nah, I can't sleep early, even on school nights. I usually go to bed at 10, 11. 10 or 11 is still pretty early. I wish I could sleep at 11. But I love doing things at night. I'm a night owl. So I'm just like, oh, gotta, like, draw this. Gotta read this. Gotta, like, update my stream stuff. Well, like, just so many ideas come into my head at night. I can't sleep early. Boss! Where is Hitomi? I don't know. Lies. She was gone when I got here. Lies! Why did you come here? Why would I tell you? Because you shot and killed Sol? What the F are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. You killed Shoko Nadami, didn't you? No. That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Don't lie. It, isn't the video of her killing Sol like up on the cloud or something? Can't people look at that and be like, you're the killer? Did you kill the five victims? Are you kidding me? You killed Saul! You're the new Cyclops killer. What? Why do you think that? You put a gun to So's head and pulled the trigger. I saw it with my own eye. I. Shut up! Shut up! Stop lying! Why are you so angry? Fight! This is going nowhere. Fight! 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 I have no choice. I recommend against it. You have zero chance of winning a firefight. Well then, what can I do? Let me think. I hope this is not another gun sequence. Mother flippin' it's another gun sequence. If I don't respond to chat, sorry, but I have to concentrate on the gun sequence. I'm such a night owl, it's so peaceful at night. Is it still the pink path? Um, yeah, it's so peaceful and quiet at night. That's why I feel like I can do things at night too. Um, no, the pink pack got locked, Dante, so we're back to the green the path. Table? Could it be your favorite thing? What? The magazine. You want me to look at a magazine now? Just look. It can't be. It really is a magazine. This is the stuff of legends. Only the most diehard fans have ever laid eyes on it. Don't you wish a sexy lady would make you curry with a fried egg on top? <laughs> Damn vampires. <laughs> I don't sparkle in the sun. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, triangle, 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 triangle! Did it do it? Whoa! Limited edition! Oh my word. Why was there a porno mag underneath a bag of flour in Hitomi's house? What? Date, load Evolver with firebomb bullets. Shoot at the cloud. Why? Just do Just it! Do as I say, and fast. Never question Aiba. I don't know why they show us the sequence. It's utterly useless. Unless it's for loading purposes. R2! Ooh. I don't want none of that aiming nonsense. Just give me button inputs, please. Oof. Boss, you better be hurt.
guys have freaking riot shields. How did you guys get knocked out too? And helmets. Ooh. Oh, thanks for the follow, Wilted. I did it. She is probably Damn. just unconscious. Oh, that was it. Her right shoulder and left leg suffered damage, but she will live. A dust explosion, huh? Good thinking. Thank you. But you could have just had me throw the bag of flour. That would have been too slow. To improve your reaction time, I had to improvise. Mm-hmm. May I hurry up and get out of there? Just anyway, go? let's have a look. Go! Avocado? Avocado? Ninniku? Something, something, I don't know. Hey, this is just a cooking magazine. Oh, it's not a porno mag. That's why I was like, avocado? On the cover. That's not how explosions work. But like, the force of an explosion would make you be like, Boss <gasps> is still unconscious. Sinking its boss! Oh, snap! However, her brainwaves are stable. Sinking with her shouldn't be an issue. Also, Pewter, I don't effing trust you anymore. Boss, talk to her. Why would I talk to her? Date, talking to her would be pointless. Well, that was the only option available, dude. You do know that, don't you? I decided to sink with her. Asking questions would just be wasting time. Besides, even if she was awake, I can't imagine that she'd take kindly to an interrogation. Kitomi still hasn't been found. I have a bad feeling about this. But there's a good chance that Boss knows where she is. How would I get that information? Getting into her head would definitely be the quickest way. That's why I brought her here. Boss is lying on the sink subject's chair. Am I supposed to talk to someone else? Computer? Where is number 89? I had him put back behind bars. Lies! In Fuchu prison. That's right. I couldn't keep him here. Lies. Why are you so cooperative? Because I know that the boss is my enemy. How so? I got the video from Aiba. I processed it and found that it showed no sign of tampering or editing. Which means there can be no mistake. The boss shot and killed Sosejima. Why does the game only give you one option that doesn't work? After pulling out his life. Because they're eye, infuriating! They want you to suffer! That makes the odds of her being the culprit behind the other murders very high. Or maybe she had accomplices. Either way, she's a criminal. That's why I am cooperating with you, Special Agent Date. I want it as bad as you do. The truth. I think Pewter wants something else. How's boss? She has broken her right shoulder, as well as the fibula of her left leg. Tibula fibula. Her shin! No, wait. Tibula f Femur to Behind her shin! But her brain is perfectly healthy. You can sink with her. Then let me sink! Sink with boss! Pewter, are the preparations done? Ready anytime. Let's get started. Let's get it started in here. Dante. You have six minutes. I know. Six minute time limit. I'll be back before time's up. It's not a hard limit though. Well then, let's begin. All right, let's go into boss's brain. Figure out what the heck is going on. Get in her eyeball. Peter better not be messing with my head while I'm in the sink. Okay, we are in the factory. How would she know about the factory? What the heck? <laughs> I 
Iva, what are you doing? Time to loosen up. What the heck? Do you always have to come in like that? This place looks cool. It is the colors the are nice. Importance. At a time like this? Oh, I don't have the um up I don't have a stream bot activated, but I've been on for 50 minutes now. Times like this are perfect. Anyway, it appears Maybe I should activate a stream bot of some kind. What could boss be hiding here? Boss is hiding that she killed Soul in here. Activate. Cause that's where Soul died, right? In the factory. Please only be four mental locks. Mental lock one, that door. Mental lock two, the shelves. Mental lock three, another door. Mental lock four, another door. Okay, only four. Sink it in the refrain. Open the door to boss's truth. Boss is hiding something. Reveal the truth of the new Cyclops serial killings. First door was this one. Door zero. A rusted metal door. What? Heck no, I'm not open that. What else can I do? Door zero, door one, door A, ladder, board. I don't think we do ladder yet. Try heading to door A. If door A is also red. No. Oh, no, wait, here it is. Door one. A rusted metal door. Break lock with pick, put pick in keyhole, investigate. Wow, I don't get any timers for this. Um, let's break the lock with the pick. Open it, you coward. Heck no! Break the lock with that. Roger. I will try. She's vibrating very weirdly. It, it worked! Alright, open it. Two keys? Several keys have fallen. One of them must be the right one. I do not have time to try all of them. Hopefully there's some kind of sign. Indeed. Uh. Open the first door. Well, I opened it. Okay, open the second door. Where did the keys fall? Agent Dante, you've got five, five keys. Oh my gosh. Five keys? Wait, which one had the lock the ice pick on it? I think that's the one. It's a key. Pick. Why do I have a death timer? What the freak? The ice pick is next to this key. It appears to be correct. That's what I said. The tag is labeled A. I was right. Give me some credit. <laughs> right that must mean you can use this key for something labeled A. Yes, I know, Iba. Come on. Iba starts with A. Where was that? Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. Shut up, Pewter. I still remember your betrayal. I don't trust anyone. A door that looks like the anywhere door. Open it. Perhaps we can use the key I just picked up. Yeah, try that. And maybe this will take us to the other side of the warehouse. Odd. Isn't this the third floor? I don't like this music, it's scary. Looks like Ugh. the floors are connected in a weird way. Hmm. Quite the troublesome dream. 
Okay. What is there to investigate here? A prime, door B, door D prime, door F, pipe, control panel. What was meant to lock two? Meant to lock two was not the door with the p it with the p door. Mental lock four was a boarded up door. Why do I, I feel like it's D prime or pipe? Let's try going to the pipe. Oh no, wait, that's mental lock th three. So I head this way. Wait, this is blocked off. What? What's near here? I guess door B is here. Wait. Wait. A door with B written on it. Open. Gives me a death timer. Tackle or kick open. <laughs> Let's kick it open. You are such a baby. I know I am. That might have been a little much. Hmm. This is the second floor, but it is clearly not the door I just opened. It's like a maze. I have to remember what door goes where. Okay. From here, I can only go to C. And C prime ends up there. Okay, it leads me to the other place. Door C. Again, it gives me a death timer. Fracking crack. Kick <laughs> open. That might have been a little much. You can't risk the death timer, dude. <clears throat> oh, we're on the second floor again. We leave the second floor and come right back to it. That was <clears throat> this is confusing. That was the second mental lock. The shelves. Um, let's see. Shelf. I think I can reach it from here. Hello? Shelf. A bookshelf. There is an obvious wire tied to it. Push, slide in the gap. Slide in the gap is 999 seconds. What the freak? Investigate, we're gonna push it. It is no use. I am not powerful enough to move it. So you're too weak. Got it. <laughs> yes, you're right. I am too weak. Oh no, Iba, don't feel bad. Oh, sorry, Iba. No, it's all right. It is the truth. I am just a lowly artificial intelligence. You hurt her feelings, that the Oh wait, I have a timer thing. What am I doing? There's We changed this to one second. Yeah, one second, and we slide in the gap. Roger. Slide in the gap, that's what she said. But I'm Please work. <laughs> this seems weird. <laughs> A toddler's crying, I will be RB. Okay. I suppose it isn't possible. Hmm. What? But this is mental lock too. Got a half timer. Ooh, not nah. What am I missing? Shelf. Steel drum, maybe? Where am I? Right there. Maybe I had to do something with the steel drum. An oil drum hung with wire. Uh, we gotta push that sucker off. Oh, I should have used the timer. There we go. 
Oh. Guess you should check that door. <clears throat> I should have checked the steel drum when she said an obvious wire is here. A rusted metal door. Why? Damn it. It does not appear to be locked. I've wasted my one second timer on the oh gosh. Oh, I don't want to see this. This again. So we can't just grab one. We have to be careful. Okay, I'm restarting from the first one because I was being stupid with... Um, we start from the first checkpoint. Actually, is 282 seconds enough? Yeah, I think it is. Return to this checkpoint, yeah. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. Wait, and then... I get the key. It's a key. Ah! Frack! Death timer! The I it That's the t I was... That <coughs> one... <coughs> Ah, oh, sorry. My throat seems very Agent foggy. Dante, you've got four minutes. Okay. A door that. Open it. Perhaps. Yeah. And then we have to go to B, which goes to B prime, which goes to C. Opened. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Isn't that the third floor? But it's how come like the, the doors floor. don't connect where they should go? Weird! Come here, B-door. Yeah! A do uh, we're gonna kick it open. <laughs> Excessive! You raided my menu! You failed? I didn't fail, but I floor, but clearly had not, not enough time if I wanted to explore everything and leave the Somnium with enough time left. So I just restarted from the checkpoint. Doors. We kick it open again. Because I need to use my one second timer for the door instead of trying to slide through the gap. Or the shelf. Uh, this way. So many doors in boss's mind. Okay, steel drum. An oil drum. We are going to push it off. I was debating using a timer, but I was like, yeah. it's only seven seconds. It won't be that bad. Yes, you should check that you door. Have three minutes, Dante. A rusted metal. Yeah, see, this is what I use my one second timer for. One second, open the door. It does not appear to be locked. And we see you, Denji, dying again. Lovely. <clears throat> it sucks that he had his eye taken out first. So he's like, oh my gosh, the pain from my head because my eye is gone. And now I'm being strangled. Lovely. This again. Benji's favorite watch. So we can't just grab one. We have to be careful. Open the second door. Open the second door. Uh, get the key. 345? What other key is there? 250, 345, 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock? What? How am I supposed to know? I have control panel, or ladder cord. How am I supposed to know which key to pick up? Oh, what should I do? What should I do? 
Well, I reached a checkpoint, so if I fail, I can just always restart at this checkpoint, but... Okay, so 2.50 is all the way over there. 3.45 is right near me. 5 o'clock is at the corner. 8 o'clock is all the way down there. And 11 o'clock is near me, too. What time? What do these... With Shoko, it was easy because the ice pick was what she got stabbed with and died. Nenju, what time did he die? Would I have it here? In my flowchart? Yo, Nenju, what time did you die? Uh... Wasn't that one. Thinking in the no. Damn it. Case notes. I don't think it would be case notes. Damn it, no, I don't think it is. Ah, uh, guys, no. Well, this watch is gold. Let's see what other color the watches are, I guess. It's a key with a watch beside it. The hands indicate 11 o'clock. No. It's a key with a watch beside it. The hands indicate 345. This one says pick up one second, the other one said pick up two seconds, so I'm just gonna pick this one up. Hey, wow. it's this is not it. Is the time on the clock relevant? It would be quite the simple gimmick. Or they just want us to think that. True. It was worth it to pick up that one because- I got another death timer? Are you for real? What time is significant? It's not 3.45. <sighs> 8 o'clock since that's when the audio syncing is terrible. Which audio syncing? Is there something wrong with my stream? Or is it the game? 5 o'clock. What time did Renju die? Where's the 8 o'clock? I think he died at 8. 2.50. Eight. I'm just gonna go for the eight o'clock one. Oh, when Iba set the time? Yeah, their mouths don't match up perfectly. It's a key with a watch beside it. The hands indicate eight o'clock. Five seconds? Oh, so it would only be ten seconds. Yeah. It's right. Is this the correct answer? Saturday night at 8 matches Renju's estimate. Damn it! Shoulda know. So. D, D is written on the tab. Let's go, Date. Yay, one second timer the again. Key door. Open it. I will try the key. Yeah, try it. It opened. The loudness. What's loud? Is my mic too loud? Okay, so There's the pipe two. is the third door. Pipe is the third door. Control panel. I feel like we need the control panel. Rows of monitors and buttons. Investigate? This appears to be old. I believe this computer controls the factory's electronics. It appears to require a key to activate. What? I need another key? Well, let's check the pipe. A broken pipe. Steam is leaking out. Um, smell cover kick. What will we cover it with? Gotta use these timers. Um, smelling, I think, is useless because Iba doesn't know how to smell. Let's uh, cover it so it explodes. You want me to cover this hot hole? Yeah. You're making me do some dangerous things. Hmm, perhaps that will work. Explode! Ah! 
Ooh. Okay. This won't be easy to cover. Um, let's try kicking it's it. Broken pipe. Kick. Yeah. Good. Now melt the door. Oh. It's just as I calculated. Man, kick was my first instinct too. But every other time in the game when I had I ever tried to kick something, she was just like, "Ow, this hurts!" And I'm like, "Okay, so I shouldn't kick." You were surprised, admit. And now it's like, "Oh, the kicking works!" Fracking crack. You have less than two minutes. A rusted Hurry. metal door. Most of the ice is gone now. My one second timer. I think I can open this door. Iris! Ooh, this is gnarly. This is gnarly. Really? Gonna see this again? Nope. This key has control panel written on the tab. Hey, there's a control, control panel, panel up here. The one right there? That's a bad way to die. Being sawed in half with your left eye plucked out? Heck yeah, it is. Open the third door. Cracking crack. Rows of monitors and buttons. Ugh. I'm gonna investigate it so I don't use up too much time with the insert key with the death option. This appears... Rows of monitors and but Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insert key. There. Oh. So? I see. If we move the scaffold, a new route appears. What scaffold? Okay, let's move it. How? Rows of monitors and... Press switch rotate key. Rotate key because we have to move a scaffold. Uh. What? Shrunk. Rows of monitor. Rotate key again. Uh. Did we move? It extended. Okay, no, it stayed in the same place. Rows of monitors and but. Press switch. Uh. Hey, it got stuck. Oh, this that's what I have to do. Indeed the one needed. Huh. There might be another. Fracking. This is so stupid and annoying. Rotate the key. Uh. Make it shrink. Okay. Shrunk. Rose of. Press the switch. Move it over, yeah. And then we oh. rotate the key again. I see. Rows of monitors. Rotate the key. Uh. Okay, so now Extend. we have a new path. <sighs> now we can use the route to door B. That just means I need to open the B prime door. What? <laughs> but we have to go through D prime first? Door. Open it. And then where's B prime? B prime's there. I'm all the way over here. So I just have to cross the scaffold? Move, no, move over. Okay. If I go blocked off there, what if I go this way? Oh, damn it, it's blocked! Hello. I go this. One minute. Ah, I'm gonna run out of time! Wait, where's B Prime? Where am I? 
What? Wait, what? C prime goes to C. Oh, wait, yeah, I have to go to C prime. Which goes to C, which goes to B prime. Ah! Doors. Um. Open it! Have you tried going through Optimus Prime? <laughs> I don't think there was a letter Optimus. <laughs> okay, and then B Prime's up here. Door B. Open it! I'm running out of time! I did waste time with Renju's keys. Damn it. And then this is the new path that opened up. Oh my gosh, I have 34 seconds left! What door are you? F? Door F. This is the first time we've seen it. Uh, one second, ten second, three second. Three second kick open. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Floor. This is the first time we've been here. That big door. If we can see what's in there, we'll figure something out. Uh, Dante, 30 seconds! Cord. And... Wait, cord? Ladder. Why do we need a ladder? No, just go to the cord. A power cord. It is discharging sparks. <gasps> ah! I only could do one thing! Kick, investigate, get shocked. Kick, investigate, get shocked. Kick, investigate, get shocked. Investigate, I feel like, would do nothing. Kicking work, getting shocked. I don't think getting shocked would help me. Oh my gosh, what should I do? Should I look up a guide? I don't want to do this all over again. But if I do have to do this all over again, I'm using a get shocked, obviously, for real. You think I should get shocked? <laughs> I feel like I only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Kicking work the last two times? I don't. I'm gonna kick it then. That means it won't work the time. Why are you guys tripping me out? Psyching me out, man! Definitely not investigate, though. I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kick it! Hmm. If this were pointed in a different direction, something might happen to the door. I don't think shocking will work, but I don't know. That did nothing. No, this is different. Oh my. That won't work this time. I hate this game. I hate this game. Maybe, did I have to knock the ladder over to be like, oh, let's send the shockwave somewhere else? What did I tell you? I'm sorry! Should I just restart this whole thing? I feel like I wasted a lot of time with Renju's keys. No, I only. That's only 20 seconds. You know what? Let's just power cord. It is Let's just see if I lose time. Whatever. Get shocked. <laughs> Date, we've known each other for a long time. I know that you are joking, but could you please consider the appropriate time and place? You're seriously lecturing me right now? Excuse me? Sorry, ma'am. Well, that was bust, and I ran out of time. Date, there is no time left. Damn it! What the hell is boss up to? Game over. Restart from the beginning. Looking up a guide. <laughs> Uh, AI Somnium Files, boss.
insomnium. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Time to loosen up. <sighs> Love is over. So close yet not yet so far. I know, right? Okay. The answer for this was not door zero. It was door all the way over there. Oh, I found I a comprehensive guide. We're gonna... Wait, let me see what this guide says. Thinking in the... I'm on a day five. Fine, I'll scroll down. Not that one. Aha! Break, open, lock with pick. Okay. Door lucky number this one. <laughs> Agent Dante, you've got five minutes. And then it was key one. It's a key. Ah, <sighs> freaking death timer. Door A open. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. Thank you, sir. This is a good guide to use if I want to find all of the hidden it? items. Open. Sesame? Okay, now we go to the only path open to us, which was across this walkway. Right, and then it was. Down door B, right? Using all of my timers now. Okay, and then door C, open. Gotta save all the time that I can. Door C was open, and then... Wait, door E open? There is no door E. Let's push the steel drum. Uh, we're gonna push it. Push it to the limit. You have three minutes, Dante. A rusted metal door. We open door two. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, we find the key with 8 o'clock, which is all the way over here. It's a keep. 50 seconds, fracking Cracker Jacks. Okay, door D open. Door D was... That's door E prime. I don't think there's a door down there. Where's door D? Door D is behind me. Right? Where's door E prime? Yeah, door D's behind me. E, E prime. Oh, door D's right here. Bah ha ha ha. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Open. Okay. I have to kick the pipe. Ah! We're gonna kick the pipe. We're gonna open door three? Yeah, open door three. Oh. We're gonna control panel. Rows of monitor. We're gonna investigate so we don't use 50 seconds. We're gonna insert the key. We're gonna rotate the key. We're gonna press the switch. We're gonna rotate the key again. Okay. Um, door D prime open. Where's D prime? D prime's down there. 
We're gonna open the door. I still only have 78 seconds, like, I don't have enough time. Door C prime open. Door C prime. That's E. C prime was all the way across? No, that's blocked off. C prime was- oh, I have to walk all the way around. Door C prime? Yeah, door C prime. Door. We're gonna open! And then we should open door B prime. Right? Yeah. Uh. Open! How do people have time left on this Somnium? Door F kick open. Kick go across this way. Or F should be down here. Yeah. Kick open! Yeah, I still only have... 36 seconds left, and I followed a freaking guide. Ladder tackle. An iron ladder. Okay, I have to use my one second here. Tackle. Ready? Oh, that's where the hidden item is. But how does this person have 120 seconds Whoa! left at that section? What? I don't understand. This Somnium is awfully dangerous. But I think I should have enough time hey, that door. to Maybe complete the Somnium now. Check it out. Uh, now, door four, I just open it. A rusted metal door. Ah, damn it, I still run out of time? But I'm I opened it. Open it. And if this is the last step, then it should be solved. Please let me have passed this, please. <sighs> the person is just that good. <laughs> Uh, maybe I did everything they said. Actually, I did not open a door E. Maybe that would have given me one more one second timer. Yeah, boss killed him. That means boss killed everyone else. Iba, return to the control room on the third floor. At once. Look at all the other monitors. Who is the blue person? Then you killed Shoko! That means Soul killed Denju? Iris killed Renju. That means so killed Iris. Yeah. And then Boss killed so. I completed it, yeah. What the hell is going on? What the actual <laughs> is going on? Then you killed Shoko. There's Hitomi. Iris killed. Why did Dante, Iris kill Denju? What Denju's? are you doing? So Six minutes are up. Wait, wait. Hitomi is. Dante, you can't go any longer! You lied! I can down. go more than six minutes! No! I can go more than six minutes! What do you see, Aiba? What do your elf eyes see? Oh, you gotta go? Okay, have a good night, Wilson. Thanks for joining. They're all being used? Yeah, I think they're all being used. 
Didn't get boss A. Damn it. This one was tough. I'm gonna have to revisit this one. Boss is tough. Ehi. I took a look around your head, and I discovered something. Something about the new Cyclops serial killings. It's Apart from Ota, killing. there are four victims. Shoko Nadami, Renju Okiura, Iris Sagan, and So Sejima. Who was responsible for these murders? Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body, but who shot So? Boss. It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. Then why did... Why did Renju take out Shoko's eye and then eat it? That's how it looks on the surface, anyway. Unless someone forced him to eat it. But... That's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit. One person. And that person is... Who's the new Cyclops killer? Iris, Sword, and you... Or Boss? It's obviously Boss, because she's the last one alive. It's, I'm saving. <laughs> Save. I should delete all of my other save files. They're kind of useless. Okay. I'm gonna say it's her. Yes. You. The person in front of me right now. You're blaming the commander of Abyss for this? <laughs> yes! No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. They can switch bodies! Can you at least try to make sense? Alright, I'll explain. If you stays too long in, in someone's Somnium, your minds will eventually switch... Vessels! There's someone else inside Boss's body. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? Don't freeze game, please. There's a prototype sink machine there. Please load, game. You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. In other words, the entire oh, egg so ends up being replaced. It looked like everyone was... Different people were committing the murders. But in actuality, it was only one person. So one person switched bodies with Renju, and then switched bodies between Renju and Iris, and then switched bodies between Iris and So, and then between So and Boss. So who Mind, is it? Mind, consciousness, memory, they They're are all traded. being used. Yeah, but by who? Switched. I don't think it's number 89. I don't know where it started. But at some point, you got into Shoko's brain. Pewter? Oh my gosh, if it's pew, freaking pewter. Then, you got into Renju's. It has to be? Because- Oh! You got rid of Shoko's Because he's body. probably the only one knowledgeable enough about the system. You're right, it's probably pewter. After Renju was Iris. You strangled Renju using Iris. After that, into Zo. Maybe, I don't Who know. you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cold the storage warehouse. The pewter is right there? Hmm, that's true. Who could it be? Now, you're in Boss's body. Inside her head. How can you prove this?
I see. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. Unless it's Rohan, because they said Rohan went crazy. And he died in a sanatorium or like psychic hospital, psychiatric hospital. Yes, I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. Suspects. Who the hell are you? Saito. Saito Sejima. I thought that there was Saito. The heck? Congressman Sejima's son. It's Iris's mom coming back for vengeance. Her body's still in good condition, it seems. Wait, I thought that there was Saito because. Soul said, How does it feel to be killed by your dad? What? I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register, but I cannot find any photographs. It explains why he would take out the eyeballs because in the previous Cyclops serial killings, the eye was taken out. What is the other eye? Give me details of each crime. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. So thought Date was Saito, but he was actually wrong? I guess so. How did you know about the prototype sync machine? And not only that, you also seem to know what the sync machine is truly capable of. It's because I know about this in a parallel that? world. That's Regaining your memories, are you? Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain. Gradually, slowly, taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. Allow me to explain. No. See this? Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Why is this Memories important? Memories in the brain are similar. That is what he is explaining. He is claiming that from a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. I knew about the prototype from regaining my memory? Is that right? No, that's not it. Parallel worlds exist. I is the culprit, and that is and that I is Iris's mom, I'm calling it. <laughs> Who was inside Iris during the interrogation Sunday? That was me. That's why she was acting up and messaging Ulta. You imitate her well. From the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. That's why Iris was such a Earlier jerk in this too, route. It's because Saito was fooled. in her body. Your imitation of Boss was perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. Iris is redeemed. I guess a person's so. Memory and sense of self. Let's call that personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. The one transferring is the parasite, the one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Moving on, even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. About 1% remains in the brain. So, a parasite could use that 1% to imitate the language and behavior of the host. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memories. The way you talk is really annoying. Who was inside the Iris interrogation Sunday? I'm telling you, it was me. 
You're crazy. Why are you making me repeat myself? Because that was the only dialogue that option available. That means the Somnium might entered on Sunday. That's why Iris knew about the original Cyclops killings. Because it was Saito inside her mind, and he's the one who performed all the killings. Iris is now an innocent girl who has cancer and has a crush on Date who isn't actually his brother. <laughs> That's right. It was me. How? How does he know about the original Cyclops killer? Something else was troubling me. Yeah, see? That's Date's face! That's why I thought Saito was Date. What's going on here? Unless they switched brains too. So where's Date's real body? Iris's best girl, change your avatar back. Heck no, it's still gotta be Date. Continue. Fine. I still have time. Time? You'll see. So, where do you want me to start? It's just past midnight on Tuesday. Shoko was killed on Friday. If we think of that as day one, today is day five. What was Saito doing those days? I decided to ask him. Change avatar to Ota? Never! Or let's ask about day one, Friday. Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced, switched personalities, and then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car, using the old abandoned subway line. Must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. Yes, we know all this. Please tell us stuff we don't know. Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Then, I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. Day 2, Saturday. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, so I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. I called her a little before 5 p.m., and she arrived just after 6. I greeted her, then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. And that's why you had to kill him. Anyway. I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. Yeah, an abandoned factory is pretty creepy. It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled-up apron to strangle Renju to death. After you took out his eye. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish How'd you Park. get the oil drum into the trunk of the car? But then, something I didn't anticipate happened. What else are you, again? Waiting for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. Huh? It was Ota. He asked me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him. But I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plan. I really don't like the person, the way they talk, like, oh, if they find out. Uh, like, so, you're not cool. I came up with a lie. 
I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. Secret? Like, why are you enunciating it like that? So annoying. Just That's tell us why. That thing I know. Referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. And just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Day three, Sunday. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am, of course, referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job. And when I left, I ran into you, Date. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. And? Why were you surprised to see me then? I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me. But there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? Is that right? Oh, shut up. Then you sinked into my mind. I saw the original killings. But who's the face? Why do you have my face? But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? As a result, you had no choice but to release me. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. That's why we headed to wherever and you knocked me out. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. What's that called? I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him. So I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. He did as I instructed him to do. Freaking tased me! After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. And there you could ditch him. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Yes, the Sejima residence. Don't freeze, don't freeze, don't freeze. Mm, okay. Of course I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Hello, father, it's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time. But I thought I could use that to my advantage. So I pushed on the intercom and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed. Because she looks like Monica. with me. We arrived at the prototype sink machine around 11.50 p.m. By the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. Uh, continue. This was yesterday, early Monday morning, past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location. Okay, so everything that's happening that Saito is explaining now, happens in the route where so but there was that one route where soul's body was chopped up and put in a jar who killed him then was that also saito again i guess we were kind of right when we said iris might have a personality yes we were kind of right because it was a totally new personality inside her 
Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around one, then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. And why did you choose these people, Saito? Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Well, you saw it in the video. Of course, I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? Isn't he annoying? That annoyed me to no end, and I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. It didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. Okay, day four Monday. There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one. Boss. You might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years. What happened six years ago? The two shared a terrible secret. Hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. And? I injected her with a sedative, then brought her body to the chemical plant. The rest is history. But why did you Simple record her. yourself Exchanged killing so this time? Why did you want to see me? And after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. Oh, so he did cut his body into pieces and put it in the jar. This is that timeline. I stuffed the meat into a vase I brought earlier, then drove back to my house. Thanks to you! Saito spoke with Grace and no sign of remorse. That is not Grace! He just sounded like an annoying little jerk! Well, you can't redeem Ota, but Iris is 100% redeemed. Such a... Oh, this Saito is such a wacky character. Ugh, so annoying. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions. Uh... Let's see. Why did you take out your victim's eyes? You know all about the prototype sink machine, don't you? That should explain it. I knew. The prototype sink machine different from the one at Abyss in a few key ways. The machine at Abyss is more sophisticated. Nano cables from the sink gear enter through the gap between the eyeball and the socket. Then they travel down the optic nerve canal to the brain. The prototype one just gouges their eyeball out? But the prototype sink machine isn't so advanced. To perform a sink, you need to remove the left eye manually. But Boss still has both her eyes intact. The subject and the sinker have to remove their eye from the socket. Can you remove your eye by yourself willy nilly and then stick it back in? Oh, gross. Otherwise, the cables cannot enter the brain. Of course, even with the eye removed, severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary. The extracted eyeball still has the optic nerve and blood vessels connected. After a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back in the socket. It's supposed to be safe. Side effects are rare. Unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged somehow, replacing the eyeball isn't too difficult. Please continue about the victimized. Of course, eyes. I don't really care about eyes. But you thought this would be gruesome and wacky shenanigans? I don't need them. 
All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? I was just going to get rid of it anyway. You messed up. Where are the eyeballs that you removed? Choco's is in Renju. Renju's is in Iris. Iris's is in Souls, and Souls is in mine! Renju's is in Iris. He willingly ate the eyeball. He's freaking disgusting. Ah, oh, yes, it's all. That's why Date's left eye is missing. So Saito and Date really did switch bodies then. Where is Date's original body? Iris's isn't dad. Dad's is in boss. Their stomachs, I mean. You sick bastard. You willingly ate a whole eyeball. Yes, I ate them. You're so freaking gross. Immediately after exchanging personalities. How horrible. What's your- wait. I don't want to ask for motive yet. What's- why didn't the sink victims resist after waking? Ah, the prototype sink machine- Oh wait, the answer is yes, you can take out your eye out and put it back in? That's- I don't even want to try that. That is freaking disgusting. No thank you. It administers a strong dose of sedatives to the original body, and a stimulant to the host after a sink. That kept them docile. Docile? Don't you mean docile? Why did you display the bodies the way you did? To harass you. You look freaking stupid. Why me? I wanted to bring out the hatred in you. Why me? Who am I? That's why I called Mizuki to Bloom Park. That's why I streamed Iris's murder. Because they were important to you, weren't they? I wanted you to feel cornered, trapped. I wanted to punish you, Kaname Date. Kaname? What is your motive? Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it, what can I say? Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge against you. Why? Who am I? It's personal. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me. But don't ask. It's embarrassing. Revenge against me? This series of murders was like a journey for me, you know? Traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? What? Where do you think that is? Your home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. When I return home, my travels will come to an end. So, definitely. <sighs> Kana. What we see as Date is actually Saito's body. Then, am I originally boss? So I'll be needing it back. My body. But Date isn't close to anyone but Boss and Iris. He was close with Renju too. They were um, drinking buddies. And it's because they're friends that Date was looking after Mizuki in place of Renju. What? 
You stole my body. You took it from me six years ago. Why can't we get a cutscene for all this? I don't know. That's why I want revenge. What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head! What? I miss it. I miss my brain, Date! No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You're freaking messed up. You... you mean... He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. That the cyto? Mm -hmm. Well, that the is Saito's body. Oh, that's right. Saito is Date? My old body. How are you finding it, Date? This body is yours? That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. That is because I regularly supplement it. They must have increased your dosage too much. No, but... I'm a cookie. <laughs> The person who had this disorder was number 89, the original Cyclops killer. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. That is what I believed as well. But we must have misunderstood. Number 89 was framed for this. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned. Only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently in prison. That's strange. That would mean... Number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. What? No, but Rohan was the big guy. What? That must be it. Unless, what? Wait, but Rohan was the big guy. And he loved taking out women's eyes and he went crazy. Number 89 dated Hitomi. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. So whoever was inside number 89 went into Rohan and that's why Rohan was like, Oh, give me eyeballs! Pewter must have known that. No way. So Rohan is still alive. I was confused. I didn't understand any of it. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before Boss? So Sejima. And before So? Iris. Iris. And before that, Renju. Before that, Shoko. And before that, Shoko. And before Shoko? Whose body were you in before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. That's why he was crazy! I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. But then before Rohan, who were you in? But I still had those fragments of Oh, probably before left. Rohan, he was in his original body, which is Data's body. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time, slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. Wait, so is that the actually Rohan? No, because um, Rohan switched with number 89. Wait, so who? So am I Falco then? Wait, who the hell am I? <laughs> I got her body, and she was in Rohan. That's why you were such a jerk to Mizuki, because it wasn't actually Shoko inside her body. It was 
Saito, and that's why Saito got so mad at Mizuki for being like, why are you crying? Why are you being such a bad child? I think. When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... That's why Rohan committed suicide. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan. No, Shoko was still a crappy mom because it was only one year. Using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. That's why I know everything about you. Who were you before Rohan? In there. In that body you are operating right now. In that skull. My personality lived there. Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? It was in Rohan. So I am Rohan. I'm not Rohan. Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. I'm not. Ro what? I'm Number eighty-nine was in Rohan's body. In other words, I'm number eighty-nine. That's my real. Iris's brother, I'm Iris's uncle. So I am gonna get together with Hitomi. I'm number eighty nine. And then Rohan's inside number 89. Keep talking. I am sorry, but time's up. No, it's not! I want my body back. It's quite simple. My mind is just blown right now. What the hell is happening? Sync with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. I know it. Huh? Date, look! This is streaming live! What? Oh my gosh. How did Saito end up in Rohan's body again? Damn you! Um, I guess six years ago, they were all knocked out somehow, and that's when they put Saito in Rohan's body. Rohan went into 89's body, and 89 went into Doctor's body, Saito's body. That was the original switch. It was a triangle switch. And then Saito jumped out from Rohan to go into Shoko. Shoko went into Rohan, committed suicide, and then all the killings happened. Woo! If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Computer! Contact headquarters, now! Got it! Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? What do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna save, that's what I'm gonna do. Do I say I'll do it and save Hitomi, or do I say I won't do it? What are the merits of not doing it? Because this isn't... Don't do it? Okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry, Hitomi. I'm not gonna do it. I won't do it. Doc, I'm hurt. Don't you care about what happens to her? 
I won't do it. Do you understand the gravity of this situation? A bomb is strapped to her body. I won't do it. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just cold-hearted. You're cold-hearted! I won't do it. You want to see what will happen? When her flesh burns and tears and scatters. I won't do it. If you aren't quick, you'll see the whole thing. You know I'm not bluffing, don't you? You're talking an awful lot for a person who says they'll do it. I won't do it. I didn't agree, no matter how many times he demanded it of me. Now every time you look in the mirror, you will always see a killer. Oh, that is sad. I refused again and again. And when I saw it, I understood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could taste blood. Bad end! <laughs> Wait, why would Boss's- Oh, because he punched Boss's body. Okay, well, maybe you should have done it. <laughs> I'll reload that place and then, um, just in case I'll save over a different save file. This is intense, dudes! Well, now let me go back there and say I'll do it. See what happens. Reopen investigation, interrogation room. And I'll skip all the dialogue. Oh my gosh. I really have to read all this all again. Skip, 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 skip. Well, this is gonna take some... What's your motive? I hope this ends it. Revenge against me? Yeah, now I don't have to listen to the other two options. Load, come on. This body is yours? That's what I've been saying the entire time! Hey! I've been supplying your dopamine. Whose body were you in before Shoko? I was in Rohan. And before Rohan, I was in you. That body. Your body, my body. And who the hell am I? That's why when I went into Dr. Somnium the very first time, that's why I was in Iris's house. Because that was my memory of the last time I saw them before I went to jail. Keep talking. I'll do it! Dante! See? I knew you wouldn't refuse. Uh, I know you well. Don't I, Dante? No, you don't. Because the first time, I blew all of us up. Police headquarters! Wait, he has Iba in his head now, though. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? Oh, she's already dead. All right, I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. Now they can arrest him for murder. However, it might be too late by now. What? She still explodes anyway. What the heck? Why? Why? 
Return my body and I'll tell you the location. Never said when she would blow That's up, though. That's what I said. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! <sighs> You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Be seeing you. In hell. Ha ha! You didn't know Iba was there. Date, are you all right? Iba's voice barely resonated. My eyesight was hazy, a heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms. It felt like my throat was closing up and I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Shoko, Benju, Iris, Ota, Hitomi, Boss. The flesh remains, the mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. And they're in one universe, everyone's still alive. Except Shoko, she's still dead. <laughs> the words echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who or where or why. But I thought that if there was really such a world, then me in that world, I is another. What? <laughs> Could I have had a better future? I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness stick into a black abyss. What the F? Is that the net considered trans? Annihilation route? Wow. I don't... Maybe? Well, I mean... Yeah, now Saito could go to jail for killing everyone, but... Damn! 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 Oh man, it's been past two hours, but I need to see this end. I need to see this end today. We just learned so much. <laughs> ah! I know who you are. I know who you are. Don't hurt me. Um, reopen. Dun, dun, dun. So sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Yes, abandoned factory. Wait. Okay, so when we originally came in here, Nenju's body was in the sink chair. I found it, and number 89 was like, peekaboo! But now, we're in the sink chair. Renju's body's on the floor. So Renju and Shoko both definitely still dead. Everyone else, still alive. Damn it! I don't think you can release yourself. We'll do something about it. What is it you expect me to do? Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me! Whose body is Saito in right now? Because then just Saito's in number 89! I cannot. Why not? My body has short circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. Saito's in 89. Yeah. <sighs> we're gonna switch and we're get our we're both gonna get our original bodies but back. Fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. They ignored you? 
There must be pressure from the higher-ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sejima's interference. Freaking Sejima! He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. That is not the only reason. So Sejima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Does Sejima know that I'm number 89? Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. Hello there. You're... Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Renju's body on the ground. Without his left eye. You ate it! You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now? You used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. What? But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sync machine to exchange minds? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. Because you're psycho! But how? How do I know that? Why do I know that? Why do I know about Saito, the prototype machine, changing personalities? The current. Did it unlock your memories? Then tell me, this body was originally... Mine. Mine. That means your body... This is your body. Isn't it, Saito? The words came out easily. I don't know why. But in a moment of harsh realization, I knew. Number 89's body is mine, and my body is Saito's. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Switch bodies with me. Give me back my body. No, you're gonna kill me right after. Where are Iris and Hitomi? Don't worry, I haven't killed them. Yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. He's a quirk! He's a hero! <laughs> it releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Such beautiful eyes. Ew, you look creepy. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. My eyes are too beautiful. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? Dude, it's not my fault, okay? If you don't shut your mouth right now. All right, talking it is. Regular stand-up guy, for real. What should I say? Do you have any questions for me? Why do you have such a grudge against me? It's early Wednesday morning. Shoko was killed last Friday. That was day one, which makes today day six. For five days, what was Saito up to? I decide to ask him what he did every day until now. We're doing this again? For real? <laughs> ah! Day one Friday. Let's do this again. Saito explained- Oh, thank goodness. It's the Cliff Notes version. Saito explained what he did on Friday. At 4 a.m., Saito began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to this abandoned factory and switched bodies with him. Please load. After taking Renju's body, Saito killed Shoko, then brought the body to Bloom Park. Called Mizuki, blah 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 blah. But as he explained it to me, I somehow felt that I already knew. I didn't understand why. I felt like it was being etched into my brain. Uh... Why was Shoko's rental phone in the horse? <laughs> oh, right. I put that there. Why? When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. 
I forgot that I had given her one. What clothes? I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't. Yeah, want not to take it, it with away. me. So, I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. But merry-go-round horses, their mouths are closed. They're not open. So how would you shove something in there? merry-go-round horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into Why did you tap the horse butt? Why wouldn't you tap the horse butt? <laughs> Day two, Saturday. I was still in Renju's body. My next target was Iris. But she was with you the whole time. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. I even video called her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscate. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... But she was with me the whole time. Date, do you remember? The very first time of September. Mm -hmm. Saturday evening after sinking with Mizuki. Oh no, Mizuki was with her. Inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body. Oh no, I called so her. You called her. The time was 4:52 p.m. Right before. Oh, Renji and I said, "Don't go out Iris. anywhere." You told her. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Iris didn't accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. If you did not warn her. She would have died. She would have been taken here. I decided to pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However, you got in an accident around 6:10 p.m. and lost <laughs> consciousness. Ha ha ha! So unlucky. My plans were ruined. The plans were ruined. But my ultimate goal is still achievable. So it's all good. Day three, sun day. Because you were still in Renju's body. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented a car, and headed to Iris's house. The way this guy talks is even more aggravating. Oh, I know what gosh. happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. And you'll see. You got Iris to come with you. But when you tried to bring her here... I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. You should have drugged her first. Oh, you know that too. But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. Because it was a rental car. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled, and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew, it was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. Expire? Oh, because his organs were so messed up. So day four, Monday. By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. She stayed in the hospital. You wouldn't be. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. The man you call Pewter. Freaking Pewter. I knew the story after that. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? 
and you listen to him because you're a freaking idiot. So Peter came up with a plan to help number 89 escape. Rohan, as number 89, got into the car with Saito as Renju and fled from the police. Why did you want number 89 to escape? When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. A plan. Iris trusts this number 89, this body. Body. I thought I could use it to get to her. But did she recognize you? In this body? I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And then we'd fight to the death. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi. In front of you. While you're in this body. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. Myself. That's why I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. But how does Pewter trust Den Oh, because they're friends, because Pewter originally gave the watch to... Right? To Renju? I wanted this body at all costs. What happened after you escaped with number 89 in the car? I brought Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about, but I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result... Rohan went into Renju's body and died. And... Saito went into number 89's body. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. About the shooting on Monday. Just mercenaries I hired. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. There is no nice at loss. They were expensive, but I had access to Renju's bank account. I paid them with his money. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. But after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. But they had already been paid good money, so... Why not let them do... I decided to leave the arrangements yeah. as they were. And then... Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own, without consulting me. Why? Day 5, Tuesday. I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m., I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. So this is the person she trusts the most. It wasn't Nanju, it was number 89. I told her where to meet and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. His voice really annoys me. Okay, please load. I've been looking for him for six years. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. So the person she trusts most is actually me! You, Date. Number 89's current body was originally yours. After Iris got into the car, I put her to sleep. I restrained her and called Hitomi. It makes sense now why, why Iris was missing her left eye in her root ending. Because we went in, her, both her eyes were intact, we synced into her mind, and because it takes out the left eye, she was missing her eye, but since Data's left eye is fake, like Iba could just pop out and pack back in. And then Iris died because she has cancer. That just clicked for me right now. Wow, that's late. <laughs> I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. 
I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. Thanks for being so cooperative. But you did drag your feet. I was getting tired of waiting. About Monica's murder 18 years ago. I was only 12. But I remember it vividly. You wanna show us? <laughs> on that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. What did you talk about? Damn it, we can't hear what they talked about. Her boobs still bother me. You don't have to show it as a blue figure anymore. We know it was him. Why did you kill her? <laughs> Why did you kill Monica? I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. The only way I could feel anything. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me. Didn't seem like you really cared about your dad, though. And she stole all the happiness from my house. What are you talking about? What happiness? So I chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. You sound really proud of that. <laughs> I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were complicated. So you can't say that your house was happy and then say Monica took all the happiness. You're stupid. Sometimes, I think, if I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Yes. Maybe the murders six years ago never would have happened. Me, you, Rohan... Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. And maybe Shoko Nodami never would have gotten killed. And then she wouldn't Isn't have died. Destiny a curious thing. One mistake can change so many lives. Listen to the rest of his story, because I have to. Sorry, I don't have any. Too else much work to, to animate to a young you. Saito? For real, I guess. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. It's your angry face, you dummy. So, shall we get started? Give me my body back. No! No! What a strange fake eye. Iba, don't pop out. Or pop out and shock him. Oh, well. Don't s He severed it. All right. It's ready. Oh my gosh, you're freaking gross. Do I have to go into another sink? For real? Are we doing this for real? Please don't tell me I'm sinking again. I don't want to sink again.
I'm sinking again. Except Ivo's not with me this time. This is. All you have to do is synchro. wait six minutes. <laughs> the F. That was creepy. Damn it! Why can't I wake up? Doesn't look like footage from a surveillance camera. Oh, my gosh. Five mental locks. Sinking in the chain. Search Kaname Date. Date Kaname, Abyss Special Agent. Verify identity. What? Okay. I magically did that. Do I have to do the rest myself? Am I being synced? <gasps> He's controlling me! Yeah, I'm not moving. I can't do anything. That's why all the text was backwards! Because I'm not doing it! No, I am moving! What was mental lock one? Monitor, exit, monitor. Oh, I think it's the monitor. Sink? Touch, hit, erase, check! Hit! <laughs> Damn, what is going on No, we on can't, here? we have to sleep. No, I need to- I need to know the ending. I- There's a knife. Investigate the knife! What is this? It hit his left eye. We're being synced right now, so he took out his left eye. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's Rohan and number 89 in the original switcheroo. room door. That's the door that opened. Came to the wrong door. Go to the sink room. Ooh. Now it's taking up time. Oh, this is scary. Sink machine. It's a sink machine. Investigate. The hell is that? That's actual Saito. Concealed. Don't feel. Don't let them know. Me? But now what they you know. Let it go. Let it go. Fix, press down, pull it off. 
Ah! Blood. It's a knife? Again. Need the music and it won't be scary? No, I need to hear everything. See, you do like Frozen. I hate Frozen. My niece loves Frozen. <laughs> she started singing Let It Go. It's so freaking cute. That's why it's stuck in my head now. Because I hear her singing it. Oh, that was Saito. Uh, now go to the door? Yeah, door. A door? What is this? This wasn't here before. Move. I wonder if there's a hidden item in this Somnium. This is... No, I don't want spoilers. I'm not gonna look at the guide. The warehouse. Don't drop it in the blood! Gross. <gasps> Their faces! Me. Help me! Concealed, concealed. Why is everything concealed? Pool of blood. This moaning sound in the music kind of reminds me of, um, Fail Frame. Blood. Not bringing back good memories. <laughs> Pick a picture, scoop up blood, investigate stick hand, and Pick up the picture! <sighs> the picture! Hey, it came back! I guess I wasn't supposed to pick blood. up the picture? Stick hand in it. Damn. Oh, this. It's them. <laughs> Ew, your eye sockets all low. Stop this! Why do I have to look at that? I guess I have to go to the mirror. You're... Hit it! Damn, nothing. You're... Knock it down. Touch it. Oh, I touched it. Nothing happened. Are you for real? Investigate? Wait, is there anything else? No, mirror's the only thing I could interact with. Sure. Investigate. It's just a mirror. <laughs> Stick your eye in. <laughs> what? Damn it! The heck? Hey Webb, how you doing? Thanks for joining! I gave him an eye and I'm still missing an eyeball. Webb, Webb, I'm finding out all the secrets. That's it. Just a little more. Webb, I'm doing it! You're finally finding out? Yes, I am! <laughs> 
It's freaking insane! I'm sinking. So what have you learned? That I'm really number eight. The person who we know as Kaname Date is number 89. The per- and then, um, he's inside Saito's body. And Saito's the one who kills everyone. He took- he was Rohan, but he switched to Shoko. So when Rohan committed suicide, that was Shoko committed suicide. So then, eight- so then Saito lived as Shoko. And then she switched bodies with Renju, killed Shoko. And then Renju switched body with Iris, killed Renju. Then switched body with So, killed Iris, killed, switched body with Boss, killed So. And now, like, Saito wants his original body back. And now we're at the path where it's like, oh, we have our, we're in each other's respective real bodies, and now we're trying to get it back. Yep. <gasps> ah, Super Dark Delicious, thanks for the raid. How you doing? I didn't realize you were streaming today. Ah, uh, how was your stream? <laughs> Sink. Hi. It must be super late for you right now, isn't it? How are you not sleeping yet? <gasps> oh, you just beat Death Stranding? How was it? Did you like the story? It's 1 a.m.? Oh my gosh, go to sleep. You came in at a great time where we're sinking in a pool of blood. The ending is killer? Oh man. I think I'm just gonna- You died? Like, the character actually died? Norman Rita's fetus died? Wait, spoilers, whoops, sorry. Oh, your heart, you mean, okay. I was like, he's the main character, he can't die. I'm gonna have to look up the cutscenes. Because I tried watching playthroughs, but because of the camera shake movement and the package movement, I can't really watch long playthroughs. That run. Sink again! This is the last time I sink. What is this? The story's fantastic? Ooh. How did you feel- how did you like the pacing of the game, though? Between the cutscenes and the- and the exploration part. Did you think it was balanced or did you think that was like pretty weird too? Did I just die? That was... This is when Saito originally switched with Rohan. But why did he do it? I don't know. I don't know the why. Why did they switch bodies? That's why Falco is missing his left eye. He ripped his eyeball out on accident. I missed the hidden item. Damn it, there was a hidden item here. The stranding started so slow, but definitely ramped up in the la later half. Mm hmm. Well, good to know you enjoyed it. That was the easiest Somnium sink ever. Hakai. Well, yeah, I don't know the why of... We switched? We're in our original bodies? <laughs> we are. I did it! I did it! Oh, this feeling! I'm back. I got it all back! Don't take the fake eye. Don't take the fake eye. This fake eye is awful. Don't take it. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. No, don't take it. 
I think I'll keep it. No, I have a get yourself out of there. Iba, get yourself out of there. He sounds nuts. He is nuts. He's an insane sociopath, homicidal killer. This prototype machine has a special function. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. You will be feeling it soon. Oh, but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die, and then you will follow in their footsteps. Uh, why did you switch bodies in the first place? My body won't move. My vision is getting hazy. My consciousness was melting away, clarity fading. I don't know what happened. I could only watch as it unfolded in front of me. The scene that played before my eyes left me dumbfounded. It was a fragment of my memory lost all those years ago. A piece of my past buried deep in my subconscious. Suffocation. No breathing. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> No, that. Daddy cake bread. Okay, I was like, that Make better not be the end. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Rock, paper, scissors. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win. Yay! Now you have to take the penalty. Pinch your cheeks. Up, up, side to side. Up, down, pinch. <laughs> Wasn't that funny, kid? Iris, remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about Aset? That's right. I thought of that name. This is when I taught Iris about her name. Greek and Egyptian mythology, too. Aset. It's pretty! I love it! It's stupid! <laughs> you deaf can't be with you Iris now, you're like there? her dad. It's Practically. a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris. Just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess, and the goddess of rainbows, too! That's right. That's why the iris means good news and hope. Good news. Good news, I'm gonna hey, Uncle, die! <laughs> you met Mommy at this shrine, right? And then I kissed her. I didn't look at her face, I only looked at her boobs. When am I gonna hear good news from you two? What? When will Uncle be my dad? I like his voice, it sounds like the dude from Breaking Bad. Which one? Um, Ryan Cranston? She is 10. Yeah, she's gonna die when she's 18. <laughs> she has a brain tumor! The Open Omiyaki War. Iris drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe. Even every day. Ooh! Oh, you. 
Marry me. Every day? Marry me, Rebecca. No. Why? I... I don't love you. Whoopsies. But tell me, do you want to live together, the three of us? Do it every day? Hell yeah. Uh, are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. About what? <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically, what if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? But you're not! Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? <laughs> Hypothetically. Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. But fine. Zombies, I'm out. Yeah, like, what What? What the heck was his name in the Shovel Forge game? I don't care that if it's was, zombies he was scary. or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then? My answer is yes. Oh, they were gonna get married. Oh, shoot. And then... Rohan and his men came. So, you wanna go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. Oh no, it really was Rohan at this point. No, was this Ido at this point? But, there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? This is... The reason why I want to get out of the game. Now I understand. I understand why Rohan Kumakura wanted these two dead. So Sejima asked Rohan to take Manaka's corpse deep in the mountains where no one would find it. Rohan found out that Hitomi knew about it. He also found out that Manaka had given birth to a child. If the media got a hold of it, Congressman Sejima would be ruined. And that information would no doubt lead to discovering Manaka's murder. So and Saito would be arrested immediately. And that investigation would lead straight to Rohan. But Rohan never told So about Hitomi and Iris. I don't know why not. Maybe he decided it wasn't important enough to mention. He played it close to the chest, need to know basis only. That way there'd be no loose ends. That's why Rohan hired the assassin Falco. Meaning me, to kill Hitomi and Iris. You got it? I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. Of course I couldn't go through with it. But if I didn't kill them, someone else would. I was sure of it. I needed a plan. How could I get out of the organization and keep them safe? But I couldn't think of anything. I didn't know what to do. I needed advice. From an old friend. Who's that old friend? Is it Saito? I see. From Boss! He knew Boss? I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, alright? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. The truth is, Boss and I were both in the same rookie class of police recruits in our 20s. We've been close ever since. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. Boss explained Abyss and sinking to me. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does have another function. 
You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? So no one kept the effing secret in that police report? In the police force? Yeah, it's just like, hey, I'm part of a top secret organization. You want me to tell you all about it? Like... I mean, switch gosh, bodies Gosh, you guys are Rohan. terrible. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Then you can send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? It's my body. You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? She made a good point, but I also don't want to live as Rohan and be like, Hey, he told me it's me. She still want to get married? And I had no reservations about giving up my body. My body had soaked in so much blood over the years. I was almost glad to be rid of it. But I did have a single regret. With my body switched, I couldn't show myself to Hitomi or Iris. I would never be able to see them again. But I didn't care. As long as they were safe. Alright. Leave everything to me. Hayato Yagyu. That's my name? Hayato? Yagyu as in beef? <laughs> no, that's Wagyu. Hayato. Oh, that was my real name. Boss, how did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. That's illegal. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Because he's about to switch bodies. <sighs> All right, Rohan has been put to sleep. He will not. I mean, there's be a lot that's not okay. <laughs> Remember, to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know. I understand. Stay insomnium for more than six minutes, right? We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three. But then how two, did Saito one. get thrown into this mess? Because Rohan stayed in number 89. But somehow, me in Rohan's body switched with Saito in his body. Yeah, the original Cyclops killings were gnarly. Yeah, the blue person is all Saito killing the girls, and the red person is Rohan, who was there with him, just to be like, hey, let me take their eyeballs now. Why did Rohan want the eyes? Because he was just like, ooh, women's eyes are pretty. Ooh, give me them. It's me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean... I'm Hayato Yagyu. The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say it. 
Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? Oh, so we go to bring Saito in. How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. Oh, so we go to bring Saito in and we're like, hey, since Rohan's head of a mafia anyway, we'll switch bodies and then we'll just send him to jail or something? And I'll get... Saito's body? That's my guess anyway. Boss and Pewter explained. There wasn't just one Cyclops serial killer, there were two. One was Rohan and the other was Saito Sejima. The sink revealed everything. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. Huh? What? He's gone! What? Pewter, where is he? Why is there a police officer there? How would I know? This is bad. There's only one way in and out of that place, isn't there? Hey, which way did Rohan go? Huh? He's right there. Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan. Yagyu, where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. Yeah, what? which way? Dummy! Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. Who let Did this I idiot do in? Wrong? No, don't tell me. I shot out of the room like a bullet. I had a bad feeling. He's going to hit up his house! An awful, terrible feeling down to the bones. I knew where he was headed. I ran out to the parking lot, got in a car, and floored it. Oh, hello. What are you doing here at this hour? Such beautiful eyes. Oh, stop. You're always flattering me. Anyway, um, come on in. Shoot her arm. I'll make us some tea. You bastard! No! Stop! Stop right there! So this is why Boss intervened, and I thought she was a bad person, but she's not a bad person. <sighs> Call an ambulance! <laughs> Hitomi had to endure a long, complicated surgery, but she survived. But it came at a price. She was left with a permanent injury. She lost all use of her right hands. Thanks to the bullet I fired from my own gun. I mean, Hitomi was fine. Ah! She was, and then I injured her! I said nothing. I got up and left the hospital room. And I left all my memories with her. That night, I visited the Kumakura building and called them all together. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Sagan? Iris Ew, gross. are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir. sir! 
Again, how is Saito thrown into this mix? <laughs> I went to Soul's mansion. By boss's request. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops murders. As long as you're like that, I think I'll be more open with you. So I went to the Sejima residence. When I got there, I said I want to meet Saito into the intercom. After a while, the gate opened and Saito himself welcomed me. What is it you want to talk about? Oh, you look creepy. Um, why did the victims have the right eyes taken out? That was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye. Which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. I can't see out of my right eye. I would see the left half of their faces. So, whatever. Game, okay. Whatever. About Saito and Rohan. How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica. And my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. About the next target. Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. Yeah, come with me. Down to the police headquarters. What would it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. The name you decided. I need to tighten my chair. It's big, getting very loose. Oh, it's making me dizzy. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. You're the one who came up with it. Bring him to Abyss. Hey, Saito. Could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps... The cops! The police station? <laughs> Excuse me. Suddenly, bodyguards rushed out from inside the mansion. They surrounded me before I could react. What are you doing? <laughs> you aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Yeah, those lines of questions weren't weird at all. Totally. I mean, if we killed four la ladies together, you know, we're super close. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place. So it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Truth serum. Wow. I see. I see. You got into that body with the sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. I want to see it for myself. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba? You there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. 
So this is how we switched bodies. Saito was super curious about how it worked. But then I ran off with his body. And then we captured Rohan and threw him in jail. It's all coming in place. A few days later. <laughs> Well, it looks like preparations are complete. Let's say you and I get started. You don't have to rip it out, dude. What's wrong with you? Don't you want to keep your eyeball for later? You dumb idiot. All right, uh... let's go. What are you doing? Follow him! He ripped out the eye before he went in. Yeah, apparently he did that with all of his victims. But why did he rip it out after then? When the headset came- Oh! Um, the things from the headset were wires that would connect to your brain so that the sync worked. My memories after that were lost in a violent haze. I was forcibly disconnected during the sync. Saito's mind overwhelmed me. Only my consciousness was sent over. My memories were left behind in my original brain. I thought I might have some of Saito's memories to cling to. But I never picked them up. Maybe because they weren't mine to hold. It felt like reality itself was disappearing. I was confused and lost, like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I could barely feel my feet beneath me, walking under the city lights. When I regained my faculties, I found I was in Golden Yokocho. My wandering with no destination in mind was interrupted by a woman. You're... Saito Sejima? Hmm. I guess not. Uh huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so... We lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? Just as I thought. You've lost your memory. All right. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me. To where you belong. That's why she was so sure that I wasn't the Cyclops killer. She knew that it was Falco's mind. I mean, what's it, what's my face? Hayato's mind. I managed to In make there. a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine, trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one, never mind. That's why we have ties with Soul, because it's like, hey, it's your son's body, but whoopsies. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. One year later. 
I was called into the control room. Pewter had something to show me. That's when I got Iba. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. And the rest is history. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Awake. Looking at it. Iba, please shock him! Ah! Um... What was Falco's real name? You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long, you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine, a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll. Departments would fold. There would be shameful suicides. I suicides. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. And Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison. Where he was known as number 89. Why 89? What's the significance of 89? No name. Because I know why 9 would be significant. Nonary games. What happened after we exchanged minds? What are you doing? Follow him! Oh my gosh, I've been streaming for so long, but I need to see this end! After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. No! Stop! It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally. I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time, for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... I was not all there, so they sent me to a psychiatric hospital. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. about Rohan after the personality exchange? Stop right there! Six years ago, Rohan, in Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title Assassin Makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? Shut up. You're so weird. But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. 
You deserved far worse. You deserve far worse. Consider yourself lucky. You need to be put away in jail. Counterattack. Saito is off guard. I might be able to make a move. I tried to sweep Saito's feet, but then. You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair. He said no he did watched. all this to get revenge on me, but he's the one who was like, Oh, let's see if this sink thing actually works, herp derp. So it's like, all your fault, dude. Why are you blaming me? So, Why are you getting mad at me? What do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. I but shock him! <laughs> Mama? No, wait! <gasps> Damn. How did... How did Mama know I was here? How did he know to shoot Saito? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Dante? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Aiba told me about it. Uh, it was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Aiba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but bastard got me. Did you come with backup? Take this. No, I don't want to shoot again. Do I don't it. want to shoot again. No, I'm too tired. Just I don't want to shoot again. Are in danger, right? Please save them. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot. <laughs> I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun, falling after Saito. I don't want to shoot. I don't want another gun sequence. How much longer till this ends? <laughs> I have work tomorrow, you jerk. I have work tomorrow too! <laughs> ah! There's at least another hour. Are you for real? Are you Iris. for real, for real? Date, do you like fireworks? I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. Worth it for this game? Hello, Kirby Master. Thanks for joining. <sighs> While well, this resolves and then the ending. Oh, yeah, true. But I need to know. I need to know how this ends. That melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it. I can't get him in my sight. Iba, shock him, please! I can't get any help from Iba. Blooming. Scattering in the moment. Ah, thanks for the follow, Kirby Master! And it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. Stop talking. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think so? Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris! Aiba, what are you doing? But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. Why is he seen. still talking? I don't know. I need him to stop the talking. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect. Beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. Stop talking, dude. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. I but please shock him. Well, the one you have left. Damn it. What do I do? What do I do? No, I don't want to make any decision. No, 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 no. I but please, I but please. Toy! Mizuki! 
Suzuki. You bastard. What do you think you're doing to us? <laughs> <laughs> Tessa, <laughs> I need help. <laughs> She's just railing on him. Holy crap. Wait, Mizuki. <gasps> he shot her. You shot a 12 year old kid. You douchebag. <laughs> wow. He is super strong. Did you work out while you were in prison? Damn. I'm so glad there wasn't another shooting sequence. I was n I am not alert enough for that. <laughs> Did you find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. Hell is he? Uh, go find Hitomi. Maybe he went to her. Mizuki, are you okay, my child? How's your foot? I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. Iris, Mizuki is letting me get Iris. Iris, are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. Do I have to talk with Ota? Can't lift as much as Mizuki though. I wish I was strong enough to lift as much as Mizuki. How did he disappear? He was right in front of him. Because he sent him flying. Ota, when did you get here? Some girl named Aiba told me to come. Okay, I'm out for tonight. <laughs> Good night, Web. Thanks for joining. I heard everything. About the mind swapping too. I heard it too. From Saito. Uncle, it's really you, right? It was I all along. You came to help? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. Oh, wow, thanks. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Got it. Let's go! I guess there's still people to talk to because I can't leave. I'm worried about her, but right now I need to find Saito. Iris is holding up Misuki. Ota is looking at me uneasily. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Column? A column! Equipment? This looks like a machine of some kind. Container? Saito took a blow and fell on the other side of the container. When I climbed up to look, I couldn't see him anywhere. He's not behind the container! Uh... Control room? <laughs> Hitomi! Ah, they're up there! Okay. I see them now. Hitomi? Hitomi! I sprinted as fast as I could, rushing up the stairs step after step until they blurred together. When I reached the top floor, a sight I will never forget greeted my eye. Haha, <laughs> cause he only has one. <laughs> Damn it. Hilarious. Iris. Yo, I'm getting tired, dude. It seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? If you want to show us fireworks, show it on yourself. Don't show it on others. <laughs> dude. Oh. Am I wrong? <sighs> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Uh, of course not. Fine. Me? Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Date! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Date. Is someone else going to jump in? Boss, maybe? Oh, yeah, true, maybe. Also, hey, Skelectin, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Ah, I see. 
You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Daddy! You want to shoot me, is that it? Boss, you want to come in now? Then do it. Please? But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. <laughs> if you don't, no, the I can't, fireworks I can't. show will begin in earnest. Ah, I'm gonna save just in case. <laughs> I'm nervous. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Let me end this game! And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Tate? What will you do? If you danced with the devil in the pale moonlight. I'm done with grinding in Minecraft and crafted the ultimate sword. Okay, technically not. Ooh, that's good though. Ooh, light bulb. Is boss really gonna jump in? Should I pull the trigger? Boom! Oh, damn it, pull the trigger. I can't. I can't hit him at this range. Mother flipping. I can't aim with one eye. Iba, come to me. Okay, so I don't pull the trigger then? But it's on hold now because I got so well to do some done. stuff. Mm, I see, I see. Cooler heads prevail. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? <sighs> you have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. Why did they give you a choice? I have no idea. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. But I have to move to put down my gun. Logic. <laughs> Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Date, look! Look at what? It's that girl I told you about! Aiba! Aiba! Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I cannot escape. Why is her voice so low compared to everyone else? electricity shorted out my circuit. Not administer a paralyzing electric shock either. Ah, uh, of course. However, there is another option. Huh? You self-destruct? Self-destruct. Oh my gosh, how'd I know? But then you'll be gone, Iba! And they're erasing all of your backups, so you'll be gone forever, forever. Let us determine a code number. Oh god, why? Command 41205. Oh wait, but I'm supposed to say a phrase. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? You know, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. I am speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Correct. I will be destroyed as well. No! I don't want to lose Ten. Iba! Nine. Say it, Date. Six. Five. Date, command! Two. One. Four one two zero five. What if that accidentally set the gun off? That is not smart. You are even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? Now you get to see five fireworks. Oh my gosh. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. Thanks for telling me all of your plans, <laughs> you dumb idiot. I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. How do you see it from that far away? Watch. 
eyes open. I only have one. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. I know. Command. Four. One. Oh my gosh, two, oh my gosh. Zero. Five. I... I... I've always hated you, Iba! No, I don't want to lose her! I don't want to lose her! I don't want to lose her! I was like, why is it showing Boss's legs? But no, it's her as the little tiny thing on her desk. I hate you. I hate you, Iba. Oh, he really did say that. He said, I hate you. I hate you. And I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. <laughs> I understand. Be seeing you. <gasps> His brain splattered all over Hitomi. <laughs> she has blood all over her head. What if he wasn't lying? That's messed up. <laughs> Oh man, I did not expect that. Me neither! I thought only like the top half of his head would be blown off. Not his entire thing from like the neck up. Oh wow, he told me he's magically clean. Has Aiba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Because it's I gross. I thought you'd be jealous. <laughs> huh? Be jealous of my mechanical thank left you eye. So much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner, Mr. Falco. It is you, Falco. My name is not Falco. It's Hayato. Those were certainly some fireworks. You shouldn't yeah. call me that. The best fireworks. I am Konami Date, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Her mom looks younger than her, for real. Sinker. Now they can get married! Get, kiss each other now. Do it, do it, kiss. Or don't. Ah, oh, but Saito's finally gone. I don't have to listen to his stupid, annoying voice anymore. The way he talked. His, like, the way he drawled. Ah, so annoying. There's more. Three months later! Kasai! Ikume Shrine! Three months later. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. It bothers me. <laughs> uh, how are you? As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop, kangaroo goes hop. Has the brain tumor in your head gone away? <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Oh, yeah, she got surgery. Yeah. The nano machines went pew pew and bzz bzz and got rid of all the tumors. At least, that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Whoa, she paid for it. 
That's not exactly true. Boss didn't pay out of her pocket. It was a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original and new Cyclops serial killings now. Not just her, Hitomi, Mizuki, Ota, Moma, they all know. The higher-ups were willing to do anything to keep it from getting out. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris' treatment. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality. I did give it to you in one in route. dream somewhere. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. You like my new buddy, huh? The way you are now is more familiar for me anyway, so... My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? So I'm really that ugly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no! It's a rugged kind of handsome. Why did you want to come here? Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake. How? No, cake. I don't want to see this scene again. Make me a cake uh, as fast as you can. Uh, yeah. Had the shrine. Poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Rock, Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Oh, good, they didn't show that part. By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. Mm, what question? Just let it die. When am I gonna hear good news from you two? When will Uncle be my dad? I turned away without answering. I stared out into the distance, and something caught my eye. Winter irises in full bloom. Well, let's get going! Just marry her mom already! Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. Oh no, we have to go talk with everyone! <laughs> Yesterday, Iris was discharged from the hospital. Iris said that she wanted to see everyone who visited her. But she's a little embarrassed to go by herself, so I promised I'd take her. We also have to get home. They don't love each other anymore. It's been six years. No! I want them to get married. <laughs> Shovel Forge. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? We already went on that date. The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. What? So let's go. Why isn't it over? Oh my word! Oh my freaking god! Ah! So many places. So many places. Do it tomorrow? I'm not streaming tomorrow! Ah! It's been almost four hours. It's been almost I'm glad four you hours. finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. Ah, how are you? Why are you asking? You see me every day. Are you gonna go to the club later? Interested? But you're still a bit too young. I'll take you when you're older. Promise. I need water. Oh. Ah, I love. Still thinking about her, huh? No, not exactly. Well, doesn't surprise me. You two were great partners. I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I looked like I do now. I wasn't in Date's body, but Iba still obeyed me. It's because she grew her own personality. She wasn't just a program. 
He can't marry her mom because he's in love with Aiba. <laughs> Don't even joke. Underestimating the Wadget system. Huh? Aiba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways, including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. Oh, Aiba. Despite looking completely different, I think maybe. Speak louder, boss. She knew your soul, Dante. About six years ago. Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Because you wouldn't believe me that you switched bodies. Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. That's a stupid reason. By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. A uh, gift? Yeah. Everyone literally told Close everyone. I know. I did as I was told, closing my eyes. When suddenly... Did she pepper spray me? Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. Why? Uh, what? You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. Why? Am I gonna get loopy? Shh. Sweet dreams, Date. Why did I come see her? <laughs> Whoa. Boss could have kept you away for this that. This is the sync room. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get Shooter? get away from me, Pewter. Why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? Uh Of course not. You tried to shoot me? You should have been arrested 3 months ago. Peter was working with Renju, or to be precise, to be precise, Saito inside Renju. He was leaking confidential information to him. Peter also helped Rohan inside the body of number 89 escape. Peter was immediately punished and fired from the force. Yes, I was arrested. Good. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. Then how are you here? Hmm. I wonder. Don't act dumb. Date, it's okay. Boss brought him here. Oh, it's she did. Kag Why? Gummy. She told us not to tell you. Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. Kagami, yeah, that's his name. Supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? Hey, it's Kakashi. <laughs> did you sync with me? I did not. But I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. Where's Iris? Don't worry. She's with the boss. She's safe. Why am I here? Everything that the boss did, she did for you. The boss was in love with me. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you. You know. But I love Hitomi. That's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? My good friend. Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. The 
heck? Where'd she come from? Iris. Iris. With the boss. She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play! Wait, what? Play. Shovel Forge. No. Stop. Send you my residence. Why am I coming here? Did Sol come to see Iris in the hospital? Let this end! I left Iris in the car. I figured that she didn't want to see him. I parked the car a little ways down. She doesn't know that I'm here. I see your face has improved. I see your face hasn't. This one doesn't make me so angry. Because it's not his son's face, I guess. I don't know who told him, but he must know about the switch. What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. Why are you here? This is That's his house. a strange question to ask a man in his own home. I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. No one Even is though above we the both law. know you committed a crime. Indeed. 18 years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kumakuras to hide the body. You're an accessory to the crime. Accomplice? Uh. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. I hardly think that is a sin. Are you familiar with Article 105 of the Penal Code? Relatives of those who have committed crimes cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. Is that for real? That's messed up. That's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. You're the media has already ready. begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. Good, get out of here. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest of my days in leisure. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. That's none of your concern. It's my concern if I'm Is one of those all people. You wanted to ask me? Oh my word! I want to ask him all these things? I'm getting really tired. And it's super late for a lot of you too, so... I'm just gonna end this... Here. I can't, I can't. I'm too tired. This is gonna go on for way too long. Oh my gosh. Not very good at being subtle. <laughs> this dream's gonna keep you up so late. I know, I can't. I've been streaming for four hours lately. That's two hours more than my normal time. Oh man, yeah. So I'm gonna finish with this probably before I stream Graces on Sunday. So, yeah, it'll have to be a bit of a pause as I switch systems during my stream. I can't finish this now, but at least we finished the main game, and now we know the secret, and we know the truth, and everyone's back in their real bodies, and bad people are dead, and I'm back alive, and Iris has redeemed herself in my eyes. Ah, uh, rip my nightly AI stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting really tired, and everyone needs to go to sleep now. It's getting super late finish all these conversations next time but oh anyways guys we did it we basically finished ai Woo! i want to get iba back though you seem fun though thanks for the stream thanks for the follow dude but yeah everyone go to sleep thanks for watching see you next time stay toasty good night go to sleep Woo! have a happy thanksgiving Woo! Eat all the turkey, eat all the foods, have all the funds off of school and work. Alright, good night. <laughs>